Hi students, all right, this week we are gonna get started with a short story, and then I'm gonna teach you how to play a game that you may remember if you've had creative movement with me in the building, and if not, it is gonna be a fun game that you can play with the people in your home, and you'll also have a chance to play with me in our lesson video. So let's get started with our story. All right, the story is called Let's Dance, and it is written by Valerie Bowling and illustrated by Maine Diaz. And while you're looking at the pictures and hearing the words, I want you to think about what you notice, what you observe. What do you observe in the clothing or the costume that they're wearing? And what kind of words do you hear? action words or words that make you think of certain sounds. Tappity tap. Fingers snap. Turn twirl. Twist whirl. Jiggity jig, zig, zag, zig. Glide and slide, side to side. Wiggle hips. Spin, dip, dip. Groovity groove. Bust a move. Do see do. To and fro. Cha, cha, cha. Ooh, la, la. Boogie down to the ground. Up on toes. Strike a pose. Leap high, fly, fly, fly. Fall asleep. Counting sheep. And now we get to learn a little bit about each of those dances that you heard some words for, action words or words that make you think of sounds. So here we have a picture of a flamenco dancer. Flamenco is from Southern Spain. Flamenco dancers clap their hands, snap their fingers and stomp their feet. This picture right here says the long sleeve dance is from China. These dancers glide with long flowing sleeves that move like water. Here we have Irish step dancers must hold their bodies straight and move their feet quickly. Some Irish step dancers enjoy participating in dance competitions. Cuckoo dancers jump high, dip low, and spin. This high energy dance is from Guinea, West Africa.
Kathak is a dance from India. Kathak dancers tell stories with the movements of their hands and their jingling feet. Here we have the cha-cha gets its name from the sound of the dancer's feet as they shuffle across the floor. This dance was invented in Cuba. Line dance, which we've done a lesson about before, is done in a group. Line dancers practice doing the same steps all at the same time and often in a line. That's right. All right, let's take a look down here. Disco dancers move all parts of their body at once. Hands, head, and hips. This dance can be done alone or with a partner. African American youth created break dancing Break dancers can do amazing stunts like handstands and head spins. And lastly here, ballet dancers move across the stage on their toes. When they leap, they fly through the air. So we just learned a little bit about some different dance styles and believe you me, there is a lot more that goes into these dance styles, but this is kind of a fun introduction to some of those and I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's get started with learning and talking about our game. Okay, the first thing I wanna point out is the difference between size and level because I think that'll be really helpful when you're trying to remember which is which, okay? So when we talk about size for body shape, we're talking about how wide an individual, a person, is stretching their body, okay? So size refers to how wide you're stretching your body out. And level is how high from the ground you are at. So level is going up and down and size is going side to side, okay? So if you take your hands like this and just say after me, level goes up, size goes out. Let's say it again, ready? Level goes up, size goes out. Again, level goes up, size goes out. Level goes up, size goes out. Level goes up, size goes out. Good. So just kind of keep that in mind that when we're thinking about size, we have small, medium, large. And when we have level, it is low, middle, and high. So we're gonna put those together to create our characters, elves, wizards, and giants. Elves, wizards, giants. Ring any bells? It is a super fun game that is much like rock, paper, scissors. And it can be played with two people. It can also be played with a large group, which is what you may recall if you've done it with me in class. So let's go ahead and talk about each of these things, elves, wizards, and giants. And I'm gonna tell you what each of those characters in this game look like, both with level and size. Hmm, let's think about that. Yes. And then we will also see how we can play the game because it's much like rock, paper, scissors. So in rock, paper, scissors, you know that there's rock, paper, and scissors. And scissors beat paper. Paper beats rock. And rock beats scissors. So this game of Wizards Giants is much like that. One character beats another, which beats another, and then whoop, that one beats the first one we mentioned. So I'll explain more of that. Let's get started with what these characters look like and how you can 
choose that option for each round. All right then, allow me to let, introduce you to our first character, the elf. Elves are low level, which means that they're on or near the ground. So we're gonna do just like a little squat down towards the ground. And then we're gonna take our hands and bring our legs and arms close to our body and a small size because we're all tucked in. And then we're gonna put our fingers up, both of our pointer fingers, put them right behind our ears for our little elf ears. Okay, so elves are small size, low level shapes. Small size tucked in and low to the ground. All right, so now that we take a look at wizards, wizards are medium size and middle level. Both of those words start with the letter M and they mean something similar, but notice that they aren't both middle and they aren't both medium. It's medium size and middle level. So the way that I remember that is like a t-shirt. Small, medium, large, and beyond. And then um, level, I think of, okay, there's low level, there's high level, and then there's the level in the middle, okay? So wizards are middle level with your knees bent a bit and then medium size. So our arms and our legs are open from our core a bit. And we're gonna have one arm forward with our arm waving our wand. Okay? Good, and this is a wizard. Medium size, middle level. Okay, lastly, I'd like to introduce you to our character. Dun, 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 dun. Giants. Giants are large size, high level creatures. That means that they are high level standing upright all the way. And then their arms and legs are spread out wide in a large size. So high level standing tall and large size reaching out. Giants. Okay, now I told you it's like rock, paper, scissors. So in this case, elves beat wizards because they're small and tricky and impervious to magic. Now wizards, they beat giants because they are magical and quite intelligent so they can outwit the giants. And giants, can use their height and their strength to beat the elves. So elves beat wizards, wizards beat giants, and giants beat elves. All right, now let's review our three characters and what they look like. Um, as far as the sh body shape that you make in order to choose that character for our game, Elves, Wizards, Giants, okay? So elves are low level, small size. Wizards are middle level, medium size. And giants are high level, large size. Okay, so how we play is similar to when you play rock, paper, scissors and you go rock, paper, scissors. We go elves, wizards, giants. And then you make that shape that you chose. So you're going to want to choose to either make the shape of an elf, the shape of a wizard, or the shape of a giant. So think about maybe which level you want to go to, and then think about size, or choose size first and then go to that level. Your choice. The other person that you're playing with gets to choose elves, wizards, or giants for themselves and they wanna keep that top secret, okay? And then, once we say elves, wizard, giant, and you move to that body shape, then if you're an elf, you will beat the wizard, wizards will beat the giants, and giants beat the elves. 
It might sound a little bit confusing. Let's go ahead and do a couple of rounds where I'm gonna say, Elves, Wizards, Giants, I'm gonna make a shape and then you make a shape with me and I'll let you know, depending on what shape you were, whether you won, whether I won, or whether it was a draw. Let's go ahead. Woo! It's game time! Are you ready? Here we go! Elves, Wizards, Giants! So what character am I? I am an elf. If you are a wizard, then um, well, I won. If you are a giant, then you won. And if you're an elf too, then it was a draw or a tie. Good job. Let's try again, ready? Elves, wizards, giants. Can you tell what character I am? I am high level, large size, I am a giant. If you're a giant too, then we have ourselves a draw. If you're a wizard, then uh-oh, you won. If you're an elf, then I won this round. Here we go. Elves, wizards, giants. Oh, I'm an elf again. That means I'm a low level, small size. If you're a wizard, I won this round. If you're a giant, you won. And you know that if you're an elf too, it's a draw. Ready? Elves, wizards, giants. You guessed it, I'm a wizard. I'm a middle level, medium sized shape. If you are a giant, then I won this round. If you're an elf, then you beat me. Uh-oh, and if you're a wizard, then it's a draw. Great job, go ahead and teach this game to someone in your household and have yourself a fun time. It's just like rock, paper, scissors, but it's whole body movement, and it's a great way to think about level and size. Have fun. Elves, wizards, giants. Share your thoughts and groovy dance moves on Seesaw.